So today I'm going to be reviewing the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys how it applies. I have been wearing it for about over a week now. So I will give you the, my opinion at the end of this video as far as how it wears um, and overall how I liked it. So this foundation does claim that it is a medium coverage, I believe. So it comes like this, it has like a little sponge and I would assume that you're supposed to kind of apply it with this. I don't feel like this is very sanitary and I don't like the way it applies with this. So I'll kind of, um, I'll kind of show you guys how I have been applying it. So I am in the shade nude 200 and what I do is I kind of just it's a twist bottom so I'll just twist it up slap it on I know that this is still applying it <laughs> with the sponge thing but you know so once I do that I like to use a flat top kabuki brush um, and I will just kind of buff it in at that point that all applied I will go in with my Morphe brush this is mostly for concealer but sometimes I will just I use it to get a little bit more detailed under my eye and around my nose and around my eyebrows So this is how it wears. And this is without a setting powder, um, without a primer, um, just so you can get an idea of just how it lays, just how it is. Um, I know that primers and stuff are very important, but I generally don't like to use primers. And so with this foundation, I have been trying to use it without the primer. And honestly, I don't feel like it's needed a primer. So take from it what you will, but uh, yeah. Okay, well I do set it with powder though, so let me just kind of finish this up and then I will come back and let you guys know how I have been liking the foundation and how it wears throughout the day. Okay guys, so as I said, I have been wearing this foundation for about a week now. And honestly, you guys, I am pretty dang impressed with this uh, foundation. Um, it doesn't break up on me throughout the day. I have sweat in this. I haven't worn it to the gym quite yet, but I have sweat with it on. I There was one day I had it on and I had to flip my hair over the tub to wash my hair that day. And I got a lot of water running down my face and stuff and it didn't like completely ruin it. Um, I'm pretty sure I've cried with this makeup on. I always talk about sweating and crying because I hate when foundations leave streaks when you cry and when you sweat and things like that. Um, it pretty it holds up pretty well. I feel like as far as the photo ready, it does kind of give you that photoshopped look where it kind of blurs um, your pores and stuff. Um, it is definitely medium coverage, but it is buildable. Um, I have been using the Urban Decay All Nighter, and I'm that that's been my favorite foundation. Um, and sometimes it is a darker shade and sometimes I will mix that with this one. But honestly, as far as how this compares to something as high end as the Urban Decay, Urban Decay All Nighter, it compares pretty similarly as far as how it wears, the quality, things like that. The Revlon foundation is about $13 and the All Nighter I think is like $42. So the fact that it even compares for the price point, um, I definitely recommend this foundation. It plays well with other products. I have been using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And when I tried the Kat Von D foundation, it did not play nice with that Shade and Light Palette. Like it kind of moved the foundation around too much. Um, but as you can see, I am wearing that palette and it seriously, like it blends so nicely. It doesn't move the foundation around. It didn't ruin anything. 
it does kind of have a little bit of a shine, I guess, to the Revlon, but not really. I do have combination skin, so when I set it with a powder, it does fine. Um, I don't feel like I haven't needed to set it throughout the day, but I probably could. I just haven't. Um, so there you have it. So overall, I give this foundation on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it probably like an 8. 8 plus. Maybe even a 9. I don't know. It's really good for the price point. So I guess for the price point, I give it probably about a 9. Yeah, overall, really love this foundation. Um, I showed you guys how I've applied it. I don't usually use the beauty blender, but I'm sure it would work well. Yeah, so let me know in the comments below how you guys have been liking this foundation if you have used it. Just so we can get a variety of comments. So go ahead and do that. I'll just uh, end this video here. So uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you get notified when I post. So that way you don't miss out on anything. Um, all the links to my social media are in the description below. Thank you all for your continued love and support, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, if you have any requests on anything else you want me to be reviewing, anything like that, um, just let me know. That is all. Until next time. Bye, guys.